Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Jasmine, and I come from China, and I'm the project manager of UM Cloud. And today, I'm very honored to have this opportunity to represent my company to talk about some case story for our customer, Bailian Group. And before we get started, please let me tell some background of this case. Uh, first is about UM Cloud. And UM Cloud is the JV company of Mirantis and UCloud in China. And its predecessor was Mirantis China. And our customer, Bailian Group. And Bailian Group is China's largest retailer with more than 6,000 department stores, supermarkets, and outlets across 25 cities and provinces across in China. And it is called China's Walmart. And like other fast growth geography, however, China's retail business began transfer from brick and mortar to online commerce. And in China, there are so many online competitors such as Jindong, Suning, and Alibaba. And they have unveiled the new e-commerce market uh, site, so and occupied a large market share. So faced with matching challenges and opportunities, Balian Group set aggressive goals to build a new technology platform that would promote de development while streamlining the operation for uh, the online payments and business intelligence and the loyalty programs. So from 2014, Bailian Group accelerated its multi-channel selling efforts and established Bailian Omni-Channel e-commerce company and with goals to build the industry's largest off offline to online commerce cloud platform and increase Bailian market share. So during this pro process, Bailian team was aware that the low server utilization and long provisioning time and uh, uh, the, um, uh, and the, um, sorry, and the high cost of uh, operation for their hundreds of applications and thousands of bare metals that would impede their uh, omni-channel sales uh, sales growth. So to do so, uh, Balian Group needed a flexible and cost-effective and scalable cloud platform to replace the existing complex IT infrastructure. And today, I have two partners, Qi Chuan and Julian. Qi Chuan is from Balian Group. He is the architect of this cloud platform. And Julian is my colleague. So next, they will give us the detailed presentation about this case. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Julia. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Qi Chuan Lu. I'm from Bailey Multi Channel. Bailey Multi Channel is a sub company of Bailey Group. I'm the architect of the Bailey Cloud project. Today, I will share some experience about the Bailey OpenStack project. Three years ago, Bailey Group decided to set up a new company to integrate the online business and the offline business. In the last two years, we have developed many business services, uh, such as shopping guide screen in our shopping mall. And the, the fresh order, home delivery, virtual shops, living cooking workshop, integrated payment, self pickup cabinets, and parking system. All of these services are designed for our daily life. And uh, the last two years, we also integrated, uh, uh, sorry, we also invested a lot of uh, manpower to develop an online system, uh, like the mobile system, uh, the mobile apps, uh, PC web, and H5 web. Uh, especially on our uh, mobile apps, Customer cannot only shopping; they can order to. Uh, they can do many other things, uh, like the uh, like today, 
uh, running outside. If I forget my umbrella at home, I can borrow one from Bailey supermarket, and the next day I can return to another one. Uh, we also develop the monitor screen by the big data system. How kind of clouds are we building? To meet these system requirements, we need a large platform, so we think we need a cloud for solving this problem. The first problem we find, we have so many systems and uh, apps we need to build, and there are hundreds of applications, but our resources are limited, and the time is very little. We need a platform can deploy hundreds of applications uh, in a few time. Uh, and uh, there are different kinds of uh, developer language we used, uh, such as Java, Python, Go, and PHP. We also need numerous servers to support the promotion system and the second queue system in a short term. We asked the cloud should meet the following requirements. The first one is numerous. Like I said, Bidian has so many apps, so we need a platform to supply numerous systems or containers to uh, support these apps faster. Faster means that the platform should supply the resource fast, uh, so fast, and it, it can faster than physical servers, server, server or or stand alone virtual systems. More, uh, more economical. Uh, we find another problem in our system. Uh, we, uh, at the most of the time, our system is very idle. So that's very, very wasteful. So we think the cloud can help us to increase the system ut utilization uh, and uh, save power. Uh, the last one is the most important. Yet, uh, Stability. Uh, our business is combined with the online business and the offline. If our system down, there will occur many other problems. Uh, for example, if, uh, if the payment system down, the people cannot uh, pay in the supermarket or the shopping mall uh, of the Bailey group. Uh, I think that will be very bad. Uh, next is our company's cloud vision and uh, strategy. From 2015, uh, August, Bailin researched more than 20 uh, private cloud vendors in six months. And we have experienced uh, more than 200 uh, meetings for discussing how to, how to build a cloud system. And then we decided to cooperate with UM Cloud. Uh, before 15 months ago, our system still be in the bare mental age. Now we have in the computer too. Uh, in the future, we think we will in the version three. This year, we have built more than 300 nodes and more than 5,000 VMs in our cloud platform. This is only our base system. We haven't combined with the CI CD system with the cloud. And the next year, our key work will focus on the SOA, micro service, RPC management. And we will de develop uh, some plugins on the cloud for Mm, for cover the CI CD system. In the future, Biden will run more apps. This will up to um, million apps, and uh, we will build our SaaS platform on the ICE and the PaaS platform. Cloud does not, br uh, does not bring us technology uh, promotion. It also brings us some problem. In cloud, we can get resources so easy, uh, like VMs, networks, and storage. Uh, even we can build a whole 
development or production environment uh, only by click mouse in a few minutes. So that's very so easy and convenient. And then uh, we need a new process for processing this uh, requirement. So we also should change our engineers' uh, way of thinking because our resource is also be limited. And uh, although we have uh, hundreds of nodes, but our resource is not enough to cover our, all of our apps. We need to set up new standards for resource utilization rate for fine measurement. We also, uh, we choose, uh, when we choose uh, cloud, we think the cloud need to have following features. Zero locking. Our company is a technology co company, so we need to learn how to develop a cloud platform. We need to know the principle and the source code. And then we can develop new features by ourselves. Our business has so many apps, so we also ask the platform can be flexible. It should have kinds of plugins to meet different requirements. In summary, we choose OpenStack. Because OpenStack is version, open source, advanced, and a strong flexibility. OpenStack can also bring us other benefits, such as scalability, friendly interface, easy de deployment, and uh, rapid development. Next, uh, let's welcome Julian. He will introduce the solution for us. Hello. Hello, everyone. So, uh, thanks for Chichuan's sharing. So, uh, now it's my turn to share this whole solution to you guys. Uh, first, let me introduce myself. So, um, my, name, my name is Julian, Julian Wang. So I'm the principal architect at uh, UM Cloud now. Uh, UM Cloud is a local branch of the Mirantis uh, in China. So I also uh, served uh, Mirantis, Canonical, and Nokia before. Uh, I worked uh, uh, more than six years in the OpenStack area and uh, especially focused on the architect design and the solution delivery. Okay, I'm very glad to have this opportunity to show uh, the solution to all you guys here, um, okay, let's see what our solution looks like. Okay, this is our so solution. Okay, this is our solution team, actually. Uh, our solution team uh, actually uh, involved more people than this photo, but uh, uh, yeah, this, this photo is the core team. So it uh, includes uh, very experienced uh, engineers, uh, developers, uh, architect, of course, uh, project manager, and the uh, customer himself. So with this team, we managed to build this cloud. OK, if you remember just uh, uh, Chichuan said, so on the roadmap, there are three uh, phases or three stages. And uh, we are just on the first stage. The first stage target is to build a cloud with 300 nodes and running maximum 5,000 VMs on it. And by different purpose use, uh, it will divide into five different environment. So for production environment, we all know that it's running the production workloads and provide a service to the public. And the pre-production environment is allow us to test the applications before it go real production phase. Uh, it's just for uh, dry run or something like that. A DevOps environment is for the uh, development team. So they can use this environment uh, to test their code change. And of course, we did some uh, tricks and let their code commit will trigger the uh, trigger the automatic deployment so it can easily test their code changes working or not. The next one is a testing environment. The testing environment is for the testing team, of course. So every 
development team has a one module, and the test team can integrate all these modules together as a whole application and do uh, some functionality or compatibility test in this environment. The last one is the application environment. So we provide easily deployed uh, applications, for example, like the RabbitMQ or um, Zookeeper, uh, Redis, or um, PostgreSQL, something like that. So uh, the, in the user can use this environment to easily get the application they want. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, let's get this. So, uh, at the beginning, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you can uh, see it very clearly. So, at the beginning of the cloud build, then we have the ADA session, which is called the architecture design uh, assessment. So, it, during this session, we will understand the customer requirements, uh, their pain points, the problems or challenges, and also, uh, what workloads we're running on this cloud. For example, the typical application in Bilin is combined with uh, web services, database services, and uh, uh, message queue. And uh, also the operation, we need to understand how they operate this cloud currently, because we all know that uh, the operation process cannot be easily changed in a short time. So in the first phase of this cloud build, then we need to adapt their uh, operation process. So after the understanding uh, what the customer wants in the cloud, then we set four design specifications, just fully matched uh, what Chitran said uh, they, they require in the cloud. So first one is a dynamic scalable, means this cloud uh, have uh, two different uh, parts. So one is a hardware resource expansion. So uh, we can adding more nodes online, like adding the Nova Compute nodes or Ceph node to add the capacity into this cloud. And another part is for the application level. Application can auto scaling uh, based on the utilization. Then. Uh, this is a dynamic scalable. And the second one uh, for the high availability, it's because we want a stable infrastructure. So we need a high availability solution fully covered every component of the storage networking or open, uh, OpenStack itself. A third one is a DevOps. So uh, their problem is uh, the application deploy speed is too slow and their de development team cannot test their code easily, so the DevOps solution is just uh, our uh, specification to solve that. The last one is the easy operation. We need to follow their current uh, operation process and to help them to uh, easily to use this cloud. Okay, this picture shows uh, the cloud integration architecture. And this is very typical one. Just at the bottom is the hardware, and above that is OpenStack, then pass layer, then the pro uh, product. You can see each product called a POD has a different modules, and each modules are made by a different team. So uh, it's very complex. And uh, at the top layer, uh, there's a DNS, CDN, and internet access. And of course, uh, in the next phase, we'll connect to the public cloud as well. Uh, this is the uh, OpenStack design. So we choose the Mirandis OpenStack uh, 8.0. It's a uh, uh, OpenStack Liberty version. And uh, I just want to highlight the few because uh, Chitran said uh, by the end want to uh, expand their cloud to adding more nodes uh, to get a flexible uh, mm, flexibility for this cloud. So few can automatically found the new node and uh, install operating system and config OpenStack and adding them to re resource pool to get more uh, capacity. So few uh, help us to build a seed cloud starting from 30 nodes and adding more and more nodes in there and finally get 300 clouds. Okay, for the network, 
So we just see uh, one part means one product, and the one product combined of the different modules. These modules are created and managed by different team. This team uh, belongs to different uh, tenants, right? So the requirement is the tenants belongs to same pod need to access each other, or otherwise should be isolated. So we all know that through the public IP or floating IP, this can be done, but uh, mm, through in the net, the performance is bad. So we're just using the simple way. We're using the provider network, neutron provider network. So external switch will handle uh, this. It, it will take control of whether uh, tenants can talk to each other or not. And also, it's prevent in the 300 cloud, the uh, neutron air three gateway to be a bottleneck. Because now, external switch takes control, so there's no bottleneck at all. Okay, this is storage. The picture that is storage design. Uh, we have multiple storage backend. We provide the object storage. We have the safe cluster. We have the SAN storage. And for uh, SAF storage, we build two pools, the SSD high performance pool and the SATA regular capacity pool. This picture shows the HA. Uh, that's a very typical solution. Uh, all the OpenStack services are handled by the VIP plus HA proxy plus the crossing pacemaker cluster and MySQL and RabbitMQ are using their native uh, clustering solution. Besides of that, we also covered the networking using the bounding, network bounding, redundant, and also the storage, the self has their own replication solution. And uh, uh, we can see uh, in the whole solution, we don't have any single point of failure. Uh, okay, uh, can you wait just uh, at the QA phase, right? Okay. Okay, this is the application solution. We're using the uh, uh, Murano, Murano module. Murano is an uh, application store, so we can use it uh, to rapidly deploy applications for the end, end users. And also, we can help the Binance group uh, to customize the Murano applications uh, and create a new one for their commercial use. And because of the Murano calls the heat engine, so it natively supports the auto scaling for the applications. It's all fully uh, matched their requirements. Also, using a few uh, integrated with Jenkins, then Jenkins, then this uh, we can uh, move uh, this to the towards to the DevOps, so uh, it can do the fully uh, lifecycle management uh, in their development phase. <clears throat> And also, we just mentioned that we plan to use a microservices to replace current net, uh, native applications. And uh, we're using the Docker and the Kubernetes as a solution. So Kubernetes can be uh, automatically developed by Murano and set up the pod environment and expose the API. So uh, OpenStack works as an underlying infrastructure, also provide a container to uh, as um, the capacity, uh, capability of the uh, multi-tenants, networking, security, and auto-scaling. So in future, once we want to connect to the public cloud, then it's also benefit from the Docker and the Kubernetes because it's easily connect to uh, Google GCE, AWS, or other public cloud. To adapt their operation process, they will be made many changes. I take some example. For example, some of their old applications running on the bare metal, they need a fixed IP, like uh, the first IP in the segment, to uh, need to be assigned to a database. But we all know OpenStack assigned automatically, so we hack this and put the, uh, allow the end user to specify the fixed IP during the launch. Also, uh, their operation team has many different roles. Each role can do only their own things, like the uh, network guy only can touch the network settings. So uh, we 
fully followed their uh, process. So we create many different roles, uh, you can see on the picture. And uh, yeah, the network reader can only see or check the settings and network owner can change it. And the tenant owner can launch instance but cannot touch network settings. Uh, to better use uh, multiple backend of the storage, then we also uh, hack something to so allow you choose which backend to use while launch the instance. Okay, after everything deployed, then we did this list of the tests to verify how the whole thing is working. Yeah, so like Tempest, they have the 1,400 cases covered all the API functionalities. And Rally is well known as a uh, performance testing tool. Shaker is network performance testing tool, and Cosbench tested the performance of the uh, object storage. So we also did the HA manual test to test the, like destroy one controller node and recover it, something like that. And to better oper uh, operation, we provide this stack light solution. Uh, as a monitoring, logging, and alerting. I want to highlight this uh, alerting. So Nagios, Nagios system will integrate with the email server and the message gateway. So once any problems occurs in the Bilean environment, then it will send the email and the short message to Bilean's operating team. After all of these things done, we transfer this environment to customer and we train them on the architecture design system and uh, how to develop with the uh, OpenStack API and how to hack the OpenStack code itself and how to operate it. Okay, so now it's a 300 uh, environment, nodes environment, and in the future, we will cross the multiple region and with the unified portal to management and uh, unified authentication. This is the uh, next step. Okay, that's all. So, any question? Yeah, please. Uh, you mean in the current or in the... In yeah, current, the, the L2 is handled by the OVS. So uh, Neutron Plus OVS just handles the L2. I mean, the layer two uh, traffic and uh, all the uh, L3 traffic is handled by external switches. Yeah, so we're using the VLAN. So every VLAN uh, inside of this VLAN is handled by the OVS. And you can create your open subnet, it's also SDN, uh, but if you go to L3 through a gateway to external, then this is handled by external switch. All the traffic handled by external switch. Okay, is that answer your question? Yeah, we are using, yeah. Uh, just currently using the open way switch. Open way switch? A native one. ML2 plus uh, open way switch. Uh, just now, now is VLAN, no VXLAN. Okay. Yeah, that's the next phase. We cross a uh, uh, multiple region, then we will, we will enable the VXLAN, and maybe we will integrate with uh, uh, SDN solution like uh, Juniper Control or Cisco ACI. Right. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, let's end up here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone.